Hey guys, my name is Carmen Bookma and today I'm just so excited to share with you a little bit of who I am and my story. And the thing I want to share with you today is the story about my adoption. I am adopted and I've always known that. I was adopted just as a young baby. And um, I have two brothers that are also adopted, one who's older and one who's younger. And so I've always grown up with adoption being a really normal thing in our family. It was never something that I felt shy about talking about. And in fact, when I used to go to school and my friends sometimes wanted to ask questions but weren't sure what they thought, I would tease them and say, you know what guys, my parents chose me and your parents got stuck with you. And I was just teasing. But I always felt so privileged to be adopted. But growing up, that didn't mean that there weren't questions. Because you know what, I didn't really look like the other people in my family very much. And sometimes when I'd walk uh, down the streets or in a busy city, I'd sometimes wonder maybe my birth family is here somewhere. And so there's always a piece of me that wondered, who am I? And are there people out there that are a part of my family? But I always just felt so special and my parents did a great job of making us feel very privileged to be adopted. And when I was 18, I learned a little bit more about my adoption story. See, I always knew that the reason I was adopted was because my mom just wasn't ready to have a kid. And that's what I had been told my whole life. And I always felt really special that she chose to give me parents that could love for me and care for me and support me. And when I was 18, my mom and dad gave me an envelope. And they said, Carmen, we think you're old enough now. We've had this package ever since you were born. And we think that you're old enough now. And we want you to have a little bit more information about your birth family. And I remember that day really clearly. I went up to my room and I sat on my bed. And inside this package was all kinds of information about my birth mom and her family. Pieces to the puzzle that I just never had before. Information on what she looked like and where she went to school and who her brothers and sisters were and who her mom and dad were. And it was this really special moment for me of having a little bit more of the puzzle put together of who I was and where I came from. There was something else in that package too and it was a letter from my birth mom to me. And that was an incredible moment. I sat there on my bed, my hands were shaking a little bit and I read this letter where she told me how much she loved me and how she prayed and hoped that I wouldn't be sad that she had given me up for adoption. And something else that was in that letter that I hadn't known was that the situation surrounding me and how I came to be and how I came to be born was actually really terrible. And I remember that moment sitting on my bed and realizing for one of the first times that the words that God says in the Bible, in Psalm 139, you should check it out. He says, I knit you together in your mother's womb, and I've planned every single one of your days. And as I sat on my bed, I actually started to cry because I realized that God very much on purpose planned my days and my life, even though the circumstances surrounding my birth and how I came to be weren't very good. And it told me one more time and reminded me again that the most important thing I can be, I know my name is Carmen, but it's to be a child of God. And God spoke to me on my bed that day and he told me, Carmen, I love you so much and I want you to be my child. I wanted you to be my child so much that I planned your birth. And I planned that you would have parents that would love you. And you know what, guys? Many of you probably aren't adopted the way that I'm adopted. But that story is actually true of you too. God planned every single one of your days. And he says to each of us, each of you, I love you so much and I want you to be my child. And you know, growing up, I have felt so special to be adopted because I felt like I had been chosen. And the Bible actually says all of us are adopted because God chooses all of us. And so even though I'm a grown-up now and I'm an adult, I still try to remember that story all the time, every single day, that God chose me and he chose my life. And part of my story is my adoption story and the parents he gave me who loved me and the fact that he helped me to learn more about him and love him. But ultimately, all of us have the choice to feel special because God wants to choose each of us as his children and to love us so, so much.